And good evening, my lovely Lost Tales, and welcome back to the Blue Rose Respite for my Friday Night Spice stream. Thank you all so much for joining me tonight as we play a fun little uh, RPG Maker game called Zell. I've had it in my Steam library for quite some time, and while this isn't necessarily a horror game, so to speak, it does have some kind of spooky glitch core kind of vibes like it, it's an rpg maker game so we know we're going to be in for a good time so thank you all so much for joining me tonight and thank you for the stretch check hayden also do you guys like um the fun little halloween over overlay because i was a fucking idiot and i forgot to change it over at the start of the month but better late than never i hope you enjoy the cute little pumpkins and these fun little uh added spider web thingies going on up the top here <laughs> i hope you're all doing well this night pour yourself a drink and settle in as we play zell together it is more styled like a point and click adventure game than like um a lot of more kind of classic rpg maker games so i've never played this game before i will try my Ooh. best the felder rasen welcome to the blue rose respite thank you so much for joining us tonight Settle in, we're just getting started. And let us go. The goddess deemed me worthy. I regained my body and my life. And my hope was restored. I thought a joyful future awaited me, but all that I found was empty silence. What awaits you? Show me one night in the story of your life, you who have lost everything. So, this is Zell. It's more stylized with kind of a glitch core horror occult elements to it. So, it might include things. The micro, the music might be a little bit on the loud side, so I might just turn that down just a touch. Cool. Can you guys hear the music? Okay. Am I uh, just the right level of loud? Um, so yeah, uh, cause with the thing with like glitch core and glitch horror kind of stuff is sometimes it involves things like flashing lights and sometimes jump scares in the forms of visual stimuli and audio stimuli. So just a heads up if you are sensitive to that kind of thing, whether it's for epilepsy or just it's not really your vibe. Um, just take care of yourself while watching my stream. If it gets a a little bit too much for you it's perfectly fine if you need to step away i just want you guys to have a good time tonight over on my twitch channel and we all have a good time this evening okay good 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 audio levels are good okay it's it's still a little on the loud side i'll just turn it down just a little bit more okay that should be better it this, the music's going to probably soften out a little bit um Oh, thank you so much, Samuel. You always say such nice things about my makeup. I appreciate it. All right, let's go then, shall we? And I love kind of vintage, uh, vintage game sort of vibes when it comes to horror games like this so when I saw little snippets of the art for this I was just like oh this is right up my alley a bad dream Also, this is a game with multiple endings. I'm not going to be trying to aim towards one particular ending. I'm just going to be going off my own intuitive choices and stuff like that. I'm just going to try my best. Mm. What is the massive kiwi bird doing here? I 
Run! Run, little bean! Oh. No, 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 no. Mm. Such spook. Uh, you can click on things to examine them. Okay, very much. It is very much a point and click adventure game. So there might be periods where it's quiet. It may not have a lot of music or anything. So I'm just going to try my best to look around if there's anything interesting. Okay, let's start with the creepy picture. Oh, yes, that is. Every, everything's fine. Has it already been a week since I was locked in here? This picture was taken when I first came to this castle. Who in the world is that masked man behind me in this picture? I have no idea what his goal is. But he loves me like I'm his own child. Except he won't let me out of this room. Presented by Fuming. Okay. It's Nocturne Castle. It's a pretty famous castle around here. But no one gets close to it because it's rumoured to be haunted by evil spirits. Will I die here? There are rows of books on the goddess's teachings. They all deal with difficult topics like what love and mercy truly are. That masked man tried his best to teach me about the parts I don't understand. But I'm not very interested in it. Music by Zion. The moon's glowing beautifully. It's a full moon tonight. The window is unlocked, but looking down freezes my feet in place. Package designed by Yo or slash Shios. I think I heard the door unlock. Zell. There's a note on the desk. It says, Leaving the room is forbidden. Well, guys, um, this is the game. We're just gonna sit here and wait it out. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Anyone else see that in the picture? Ah, okay. Let's go then. The drawer is full of underwear. They're all folded neatly. Okay, so same thing across all the drawers, no worries. It's unlocked. Leave the room. Yes. I'm a bad little rule breaker. I'm sorry. The game is saved each time you move. Oh, thank God for that. The door's locked. Okay. There's nothing but a quiet, endless darkness outside. The window is unlocked, but looking down freezes my feet in place. I'm just moving my drink further out of the way, just in case, like, there are more jump scares ahead. Or I freak out, and I don't want to spill it everywhere. <laughs> Hello? Bye. Thank you, adorable little goblin bean. Oh, what's on the menu tonight? I am enjoying a lovely ginger ale. I haven't actually been drinking a ton uh, these past few weeks, but I'm just enjoying my lovely ginger ale. Usually I would have like a whiskey on my Friday night streams, but I've decided to kind of ease back from the alcohol a little bit. Got gold key. Hmm. I feel like I'm forgetting something really important. Okay, so anything else here? 
Okay, let's just go back and see if that key works on that room back there. Oh yeah, and I um with my ginger ale I had I have a little uh, wedge of lime in it as well to add that extra. <laughs> Hi. Bye. I think I just saw something outside the window. Use the key to open the door. I won't need this key anymore. The goddess. It's a statue of an angel. It feels nice and smooth. Nice and smooth, you say? My skin is one of my best features. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. You may call me Miss Goddess. I've descended to this earthly world just to meet you. Hmm. From what I can tell, you're trying to continue onward to escape from this castle, right? I'm sure your mother is waiting anxiously for your return as well. But many evil spirits live in this castle, so it would be very dangerous to wander around empty-handed. And that's why I've prepared this for you. Okay, a rosary. Okay, this will keep us safe. It works simply enough. When you are attacked by an evil spirit, the rosary screen will appear, like so. Okay, tutorial time. There are three colours in all. It's very cute. Clicking on the rosary that matches the evil spirit's colour will errat- I mean, calm them down. Look closely into your opponent's eyes to determine their colour. Once you know their eye colour, click the rosary of the same colour. You only have a limited amount of time, so you- so be both careful and swift. Oh, thank you for the hydrate to check, Monotone Dane. You didn't tell us this game was based on you. I mean, she's missing a couple of wings, but it's pretty close. It's, get, it's getting the creepy vibes down right. <laughs> See? Perfectly simple. And guys, yes, this game is literally, we have the power of God and anime on our side. This is going to be great. Um, that's all there is to it. Do you understand? Okay, yes, so... Match the eye colour of the attacker to the rosary that you pick. Okay, fairly straightforward. I'm probably gonna fuck it up, though. It seems you've got the idea. I'm glad. No need to worry. I'm sure you get used to it. You are used to it once you use it. There was one other thing. Oh, that's right. I need to give you a map of the castle. Here you are. Alright, great. All he needs is guns and it's been it all over again. I mean... You're... You're not wrong! You can open it at any time by clicking the map icon below. Though this is distinctly much more, uh, spooky horror vibes. It gives you a good layout of the castle, so use it when you're lost. I hope you can return home soon. This is all I can do for you. I'll be praying that all goes well. Hmm? It's a good thing you were able to get the rosary moved before moving on. You must be quite fortunate. It looks like a demon has already come to kill you. What? You can't escape now. Hi, friend. Everything's fine, guys. Everything's fine. Yay! Lightning reflexes is the name of the game, baby. Hi. <laughs> Wonderful! 
<laughs> Absolutely wonderful. You were able to wield the Rosary's power so perfectly. <laughs> I apologize for putting you through such a sudden trial. I just had to know if you had the aptitude to wield it. But it seems there was no need to worry. I'm so eager to see how much you will grow. Oh, I am just beside myself with excitement. Now then, I'm looking forward to the time when we'll see each other again. <laughs> Until that day comes. Uh, bracing myself for jump scares. Okay. So yeah, the art style is creepy and cool and kind of glitchy and old school and I love it. But it's like just that level of unsettlingness that like glitchcore horror is no is like really uh, well known for. And so I love games like this so much. They freak me out. <laughs> is this some kind of scarecrow? I feel like it's looking at me. I have the power of God and anime on my side. I'm not scared of you. I don't like that I'm walking ahead and that thing's beh behind me. Or in front of me now. I swear it was... That tapping, was it following me? Keep, keep moving. Uh, it's behind me, isn't it? Something's right behind me. Hi. Oh. <laughs> I brought this on myself, I know. Like, this might be one of the first games that genuinely scares me, but I'm on board with it. Okay. Hello, sir. Is that another pair of footprints on feet under there? It's a picture of a young man. Is he the one who lives in this room? Mm. The wardrobe is empty. Is it though? There's nothing in the drawer. Hmm? It looks like there's a note on a scrap of paper. Don't end up like me. Oh, good. Anything else? Okay. So, I just wanted to check if it was, like, different drawers, but it's the same as the one before. Okay, we just have to click on it once. Oh, don't tell me I have to Silent Hill to this. Something's glittering in the bottom of the toilet. I don't think I can reach it with my hand. Okay. Need to come back with something for that. And yeah, the eyes are bleeding, it's creepy. I saw that. There's a book on the desk. Read it. Adolf's Notes. Every so often the demons living in hell show their horrid forms on earth, repeating a cycle. However, many of those who are labeled as demons are actually sinners who have fallen into hell. Their souls finally obtain relief as they rot away after an eternity of torture, but their compounded rage and hatred alters them into beings whose sole desire is to burn the world down. And when hell becomes too full, they overflow into the earth. It is the duty of those chosen by the gods to drive those demons back. Let me guess, I'm a lucky volunteer, aren't I? <laughs> Shit. But there are, there are nothing more than disposable, but they are nothing more than disposable pawns, ver uh, burdened with a grave responsibility. If uh, what that reaper with the avian mask said is true. 
Am I too a mere pawn? There's a deer head on the wall. What is it? It's eyes open before. Okay, that's out into the battlements. I wanted to go back to that room first. And yeah, no harm came from ever reading a book. None at all. You seem familiar. It's some kind of strange statue. The eyes are missing. Okay, anything in the chest of drawers? Okay. And... Ooh, okay. <gasps> the Lube! Are you serious? The Lube! Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs to my community! My lovely Lost Tales! Holy shit! Lube! Thank you so, so much! You're absolutely amazing! I really, really appreciate the support! Thank you! This is amazing! You're the absolute best! <laughs> Thank you so much! It was my birthday, so I'm celebrating! Oh, in that case, chat, please give a ton of happy birthdays to um the Lou Bear! Happy birthday, Lou Bear! Thank you so, so much! You're absolutely incredible! Oh. Oh. Thank you so much, Lube. You're amazing. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. I'll get back to the game. It's a painting of a knight with a sword. A wilted rose. Its stem was cut. There are slash marks all over the room. What a giant sword. It's way bigger than me. Okay, butterfly net. Hopefully that'll be used to scoop the thing out of the toilet. Back there. Oh, fuck. Lightning reflexes. So spook. So spook. Okay, I just have to prepare myself for every single, like, thing that I see in this game is gonna try to attack me. Okay, let's go back to that bathroom. Oops. Something's glittering in the bottom of the toilet. I don't think I can reach it with my hand. Use a butterfly net? Yes. Eye jewels. Okay, for that little gargoyle back there. The butterfly net broke. It must have gone flimsy from rot. I won't be able to use it anymore. That's okay. We've got what we needed. Some kind of strange statue. The eyes are missing. Put in the eye jewels? Yes. Oh, that's not at all super creepy. Oh, no. That's some dark steps into nowhere. I'm going to go back. And I'm going to look out on the battlements first, before going down those very creepy as fuck stairs. The door's locked. A moon symbol is above the keyhole. Okay. Need- mm. Hi, puppy! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Things are going to get trickier. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm. Yeah. Oh. 
I'm gonna try again. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay. So I just have to hit it once. Oh, that's... That happened. Okay. <laughs> the dread wolf got me there, guys, but that's okay. That's okay. Thankfully, this game saves itself very, very quickly. Um, and we can keep going down the terrifying endless void. <laughs> Literally, the power of anime compels you. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. Oh, <laughs> I hate this, I hate this. Okay. Is this an air vent? It has a metal cover. It's screwed in place. The lid is sealed tight. Lid is sealed tight. The inside is filled with dust. I don't really want to touch it. Ooh. A key is hanging on the wall, but it's too high up for me to reach it. There's a big hole in the floor. Take a peek. Hi Mike, how's it going? Welcome back to the Blue Roads Respite. I hope you're doing well. We are playing Zell. It is a RPG maker, a cold adventure, like click, uh, adventure click game. And I'm totally not at all freaked out a little bit. It's got kind of glitched core elements of horror and it's spooky. It's very spooky. And I'm going to be an idiot and take a look over the peak, over the edge of this ravine. I can't see the bottom. It looks pretty deep. There's gonna be something down there, isn't it? Okay. I'm just bracing myself for jump scares. Mm. Okay, I need another, like, uh, butterfly net. Oh, that's fine. This is fine. Got the rod. Okay, perfect. We can get the key. I fucking knew it. Oh, fuck off. No, 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 go away, go away, go away. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. And Mike, thank you so much for the 14 month resub. You're amazing. It's in the air vent. Fuck, okay. Um, Mike, thank you so much for the 14 month resub. 14 months of Sims and Scares. And thank you so much for being not just a wonderful moderator, but an incredible friend. I miss you so, so much, and I can't wait to see you again. Hopefully, sooner rather than later, okay? <laughs> But thank you so much for renewing your subscription. Thank you. Doll heads. There are doll bodies attached to each other. Is this an air vent? The cover is off now. No. Not yet. I want that to be like the last resort. I need to get the, that key first. Oops. Oh yeah. This game is weird and kind of trippy. So, and also, if you are sensitive to like um, uh, like flashing stuff, then maybe this isn't the best game for you, or like loud like audio cues, because sometimes they pop up as jump scares. Um, I usually don't do do jump scares, but I like glitchcore horror, so this is right up my alley. So just take it at your own pace, Mike. Take care of yourself. A key is hanging on the wall. If I use the rod, I should be able to get it. Take the key. Yes. Please don't fall. I can't quite get it. It's gonna fall, isn't it? What? What the fuck is this? Hi. Shit! I need to be more patient. Damn it! Let's give that another try. 
Yes. Okay, use the rod. Come on. Hi. There we go. Gotcha. Ugh. Oh, look, he was filled with strawberry jam. Amazing. Okay, can I get the key now? I got it. Got moon key. Perfect. Is this an event has a metal cover. It's screwed in place. Okay. Perfect. Oops. Hmm. See, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna try that on the door that was up there. But we might also have to go back down and into the air vent, and I don't like that. Yes! <laughs> Go away. Lightning reflexes, baby! I locked it with the moon key. I won't need this key anymore. Hello, sir. Moonface man. Hmm? What a small guest I have. You're so cute and tiny. A young boy? Oh, I remember now. You're the boy who recently came to this castle, aren't you? Oh, I've been wondering about you for a while. But the real problem is, how did you get into this room? And yes, I am going to be doing weird voice acting for all of the characters in this game. <laughs> I do believe I had the door locked. I suppose that hardly matters. I understand your desire to go in on a pretend adventure. I really do. But this castle is much more dangerous than you might think. Do you not know the rules set out by the Reaper who made this place? I don't. You don't know? How sweet. If this, in this castle, it's forbidden to leave your own room. Horrible, isn't it? Dreadfully boring, don't you think? But the world outside your room is filled with peril, so c'est la vie. So watch yourself on this little adventure of yours or else. You might just get eaten. How sweet. At any rate, I think it best for you to scurry on back to your room. If the Reaper finds you, there'll be trouble. You're gonna be following me, aren't you? I just- I just know. It's a painting of the moon against a starry night sky. Fire is cracking, crackling pleasantly. The door is locked. Mm. I can peek into the room through the keyhole, though. Try peeking into the room? Yeah, sure. Oh, I don't like this. It's kind of a creepy room. Hi. There are a bunch of different books on the shelves. They all look really difficult. Okay, I'm gonna go back and try the air vent now. I'm curious about that moon face man. Okay, do we need to talk to him again? Hmm? Whatever could it be? You look like you have a question. Who are you? Me? I'm me! And you're you! What more is there to be said? And what would you do if you knew? No, wait. Allow me to apologize. I shouldn't have said it like that. 
I just don't want us meddling in each other's affairs. You're better off not getting involved with me. You want to live a peaceful life, don't you? Hey, the Wolf Warrior! Thank you so much for your 32 month resub! Coming up to three full years now! Thank you so much for joining us! Oh, I really appreciate it! Thank you! And it's all good, better late than never! Uh, Steph, would you ever play the Red Wall games on stream? Or is playing a game you acted in not something that is done? Um, I'd be interested in maybe playing a couple of games that I was uh, a voice actor in or I had a part in uh, the production. Um, maybe not the Red Wall games. I've just, uh, I've played them a little bit. I'm not sure if they kind of like fit with the vibe of my streams, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, they're, they're really cool. Highly recommend you do check them out. Um, I'm just not quite sure if they're the right sort of fit uh, for my particular stream, if that makes sense. Oh, and thank you for the hydrate check, Kadriba. Thank you. Sorry, that's all a downright lie. I'd love to savor a nice long chat with you, among other things, but I'll just have to exercise some self-control. Hmm. Now go back to your room, boy. But I have questions. Hmm? Whatever could it be? You look like you have a question. Okay, what's the Reaper? Who's the Reaper? Curious, aren't you? Piques your interest, doesn't it? You've seen him, haven't you? A masked man in a black robe. That's the Reaper, and the master of this castle. He supervises all of us. Though, in this case, that means he safeguards us. And under his tutelage, we spend our days preparing to ascend to heaven. We learn the goddess's teachings, testify about ourselves, try to find the right way to live. We acknowledge our crimes and repent. We purify our hearts, all to ascend to heaven. The Reaper is unique. He's not like other Reapers. You won't be able to find any other reaper who's preaches the god who preaches the goddess's teachings. He's an oddball, that's for sure. But perhaps the light uh, seems all the brighter to those who've lived in a world of darkness. Now hurry on back to your room, boy. That's the rule around here. Besides, the world outside your room is extremely treacherous. By the way, about that rosary you have there. I thought it was just a toy, but... It looks a lot like the rosaries those humans call themselves exorcists wield. But I sense some kind of power coming from it. It's clearly unlike the ornaments they hold. It's not an ornament, it's a true rosary, you say. <laughs> now, <laughs> where did you get a thing like that? Hmm. Looking at that rosary turns my stomach. Ugh. I'm sorry to cut our conversation short, but I need to go lie down in that inner room for a while. You absolutely must not go in. Just hurry back to your room already. Please. Now, if you would excuse me. Are you okay? The door is locked. I can peek into the room through the keyhole, though. Is he okay? Oh yeah, he's fine! Oh, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's- What in the world is he doing? I'm gonna go. I'm curious about that inner room. I can peek into the room through the keyhole, though. Yes! Oh fuck, where is he? Um, okay, you take care, Toby. Thank you so much for joining us. The moon-faced man is gone. Oh, he's gonna be right by the keyhole, isn't he? Can I go yet? Okay, fine. Fuck it. I knew it! Fuck you! Go away. Go away. Go away. You... So I didn't you. Time for a uh, spanking. Blue. What? 
No, fuck off. Fuck off. Carrying around such a weapon. What a naughty boy. Kids like you need a spanking. Oh, fuck off. I hate this. <laughs> this game. You've been a bad boy. <laughs> like, I'm genuinely enjoying this game, even if it does creep me out a lot. I like the fourth wall breaking stuff. I like this is why I like glitch horror so much. <laughs> <laughs> this game is fuck around and find out on hard mode. <laughs> Got screwdriver, yay! There's a book on the floor. Read it? Yeah, sure, why not? I know I can quit anytime. I just like <laughs> being an dramatic little bitch. <laughs> Record of a conversation between the Reaper and the Moonface Man. Come now, why would I be brought to a place like this? It's like a detention center. Surely there must be some mistake. After all I've done f after all I've done for the world, this is too much. Don't you think, Mr. Strangely Masked Reaper? Oh, I jest, I apologize. I have an inkling. You want to hear about my past again, right? Yes, yes. Now let's see here. Once upon a time, before I died, I worked at an orphanage. I looked after children who had lost their parents. Isn't that ever so magnanimous? I'm sure the children thought of me as a parent. They were so terribly adorable, their smiles were the sweetest in the world, and their skin positively glowed. But one can't be taken in by their cuteness. It is a parent's duty to properly educate them. And you must punish them every ounce, every once in a while, yes? Oh, those were the most wonderful times. Not for the kids, I imagine. At first I thought the children were happily accepting my loving punishment, but I was wrong. Gradually, as I punished them more and more, their bodies and hearts were damaged. The animosity in their eyes, just remembering it sh sends a shiver down my spine. Now I feel guilty. In the end, I left the orphanage so that I wouldn't hurt the children anymore. But I'll never forget how elated I felt back then. Yes, it's disgraceful, really. Surely I must have been possessed by some kind of demon. Or perhaps it was due to my temperament. Or could it have been both? I, ha I have yet to find the answer. It's an empty frame, the picture's been torn out. The wardrobe is knocked over and the mirror is broken. This room is a real mess. Anything else there? Okay. There are a ton of scratch marks on the walls. Okay, I think that's everything. Why do I have a sneaking suspicion Moon Man's gonna show up again? Just a hunch. Okay, let's go back down to that room and get that other air vent off. Oops. This is an air vent. It has a metal cover. It's screwed in place, but the screwdriver could get it off. Take the cover off? Yes. I think that's a little bit better. There we go. Uh, oh yeah, that's where we got the key. Yeah, Rosen, um, it's uh, a game called Zell. It's a point and click kind of occult adventure game with uh, a lot of spooky moments. So, hope you enjoy it. It extends deep inside the wall. I should be able to fit inside. Go into the air vent. I don't like this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because I think that's the only next thing I can do. I don't like this. Oh, thanks for the stretch check, Aiden. Oh, I'm gonna need it. I hate this. Where the fuck did that doll go? It's gonna be in here, isn't it? Oh, I hate this. I hate air vents in horror movies. I wonder where this vent goes. It's too narrow for me to fit. It's gonna be in here, I know it. It's in here! I feel some kind of presence. It's the doll centipede, isn't it? <laughs> Fuck off! I hate this! I hate this! 
Oh goody, I can just like continue and then go back in the vent again, yay! <laughs> I hate this. I feel some kind of presence. It's blue. I have to click when it's blue. Fuck! Sorry, I didn't mean to get loud. I. I just need to be a little bit more patient. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I can do this. I can do this. I just hate air vents in horror games. Okay, come on. There we go. With the power of God and anime, I banished you, you creepy, creepy doll baby. So yeah, because I think I would maybe play Alien Isolation on my own, where I could only play for like 20 minutes and then quit, and then come back a little bit later. But I don't think I would stream it, because... Like, this is the level of jump scares that I can comfortably take. Um, so I have a feeling that a game that is so... F I don't like this. That is so focused on, like, jump scares and tension, I'm not sure if, like, I would have a good time. But who knows? Who knows? The chair has slashes in it. It's a shredded chair in disrepair. Hey, that rhymed. The drawer is full of tools I've never seen before. They're all covered in dark red rust and don't look usable. Burb. Hi. It's a creepy painting. I don't really want to look at it. The title is written on the frame. Uh, Taboy 4th Gen. Self-portrait. And we've... Uh, we've entered Silent Hill. Great. I just wanted to check. Okay. Hello? There's some kind of weird tool lying on the floor. This is a torture room. The box won't open. Actually, it looks like there's a padlock that's keeping it shut. There are spikes on the chair seat. Is it some kind of wooden bed? There are leather belts attached to the ends. A wooden board with holes in it is hanging on the wall. It's a big saw, the teeth that chipped uh the teeth that chipped and rusted. I I have a feeling that a wooden bed with the straps, um that might be the pit. And there's the pendulum. It's a giant pendulum. No way it has a blade. What in the world is this? But I swear to god if a fucking yellow triangle suddenly shows up. I'm gonna be No. No. There's a mirror on the wall. Look at it. There's gonna be something right behind me, I just know it. Hmm. I see my reflection. I knew it. I knew it. Hi. Hi. Go away. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Go away. It's gonna be right behind me, isn't it? I'm gonna keep walking and pretend I didn't see that. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go to the left first. Okay. Ladder. I don't want to go down just yet, so let's look along this way. Where does the sleep back? Okay. There's a sun-shaped hole. Okay, so we need something for that. We need a key for the torture room and we need a something that fits in a sun-shaped hole. There's a moon-shaped hole. Well, um... 
I know a guy who has a moon-shaped head. I can kind of like try and cram him into that, but I don't know. Mm. This game is so fucking weird and I love it. That's a rubber duck. It's a toy box that has a ton of stuff in it. Hi. Who are you? Did you come to play with me? Sure. What? Really? Then let's play, let's play. What should we do? What should we do? Oh, let's do that. But we should introduce ourselves first. My name is Loki. I'm six years old. Oh wait, am I seven now? Well, whatever. You look like you're my age. This castle's full of old guys, so it's super boring. Boring, boring. So I'm really happy that another kid came. Um, also, also, my favorite food is apples. And, uh, I love to dance. Wanna dance with me? Do you like to dance? Sure, I am scared to say no to this kid and like it's his skin peels off from his face or something. I don't know what the fuck is up with this game anymore. For real? Then let's dance. Dance, dance, dance. But doing a normal dance would be kind of boring. Hmm. Then we'll have a dance off. If you win, I'll give you my treasure. But if you lose... I'll think of something when that happens. Okay, tell me when you're ready. Make sure to stretch and loosen your muscles, then let's dance. It's gonna be like a DDR thing, isn't it? This toy box has a ton of stuff in it. It's a rabbit doll. It's really colorful. Okay, golden rat statue. That's probably gonna be important for later. It's a picture of a green creature. Huh? Something's written underneath the picture. My mom said the power to create things that don't exist in the world is called magic. The power of magic can make people smile, but I guess it can make them sad too. The creature I made with magic was squishy and cute, but it also had the power to make people sad. I haven't seen it around in a while. I wonder where it went. You could just let that thing loose in the castle. Oh, that's not at all unsettling. It's the masked man and a kid. They seem to be having fun. The bookshelf has books on the goddess's teachings along with picture books. Some of the picture books are ones I've read before. Okay, sure, let's try this dance thing. And I'll try my best. Okay. Is your heart ready to? Sure. <laughs> All right, here we go. Over here to the special stage. Oh no. Oh shit, wish me luck guys. Amazing, right? Isn't it totally sweet? This is the dance floor. You can dance as much as you want and do whatever you want. Okay, let's get this dance off spot started. Cue the music. All right, we need a DJ. This isn't setting the right mood. Hmm. I'm gonna grab the first person I can find, so you wait here. Oh no. Hello friend, I remember you from the rooftop. Sorry for the wait, something was outside so I nabbed it. Okay, we should be good to go. Oh, you don't have to do anything fancy like that. Just hit the play button there, then fake it till you make it. Okay, we're gonna start, but do you need to hear the rules first? Yeah, yes please. Okay, I'll explain it. During the dance-off, you have to mimic my moves. Well, it's less of a dance-off and more of a mimic-off, I guess? When the music is playing, just follow my movements. The controls are easy, super easy. To control, you just use your arrow keys on your keyboard. Okay. This is left. This is down. 
Sway your head back and forth. Oh, shit. This is right. And this is up. Hop on your toes. If you make a wrong move, or don't mimic me in time, then you get punished. Be careful. Got it? Okay, I'll try my best. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so far so good. Oops, I pressed up instead of down. Mm -mm. You made a wrong move, huh? Or are you too slow? You made a mistake, so I win. Now you've got to be punished. It'll hurt, but only for a second. Oh no, I fucking knew it. Let's try that again, shall we? Okay, retry, okay. That's nice that you can skip the dance off if, um, like, it's not really a vibe. I'm gonna give it another try. I wanna try and beat it. Here we go. When there's no margin for error, I have to get it perfectly. And yeah, this is giving me old school uh, Newgrounds vibes. Oh Ooh. boy! Damn it! Fuck! You made a wrong move, huh? Oh, are you too slow? Shit. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll give it one more try, and then I'll uh, skip it. Hmm. Why does our uh, character look like an organi Organization 13 member? I understood that reference too. <laughs> okay, let's give that one more try. Here we go. Almost got me. Oh shit, it's getting faster. Did I do it? I think I did it. What? Wow, you're awesome! You're amazing! You're a great dancer! I had to admit it, but I lost. I'll give you my treasure, as promised. Yee! I did it, guys! Huh? Where'd I put that thing? Oh no, I have it, I promise! I'm just gonna look around my room. You wait here! Everything's fine. I did it. I found it! I found it! Here, a present from me! Okay, we got the sun piece. Awesome. 
I got that from the Mask Man. Mask Man, Mask Man. I have a picture of him too. It's got both of us in it. I guess he's been in this castle for a long time. He's a nice guy who gives me tons of toys, but he's always telling me not to leave this room. He says stuff like it's dangerous outside or I gotta read books. He had a bunch of different reasons, I guess. But I don't want to go out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Mm. But you know, I'm actually kind of lonely. I try to seem more happy, but it's just an act. I'm just putting on a brave face. If I'm not cheerful, people won't like me. Everyone in the outside world is really scary, so I've never ever, ever had any friends. So I'm really happy that I got to play with you in the end. What do you mean in the end? Thank you so much for playing. But I don't know how to play with other people, so I'm not sure if it was any fun. I'm glad that the last person I got to meet was you. Why, why are you saying that? No. There's fun things even in this world. But I've decided to go see Mom. I can't stay here anymore. What's going on? I hope you see your mum soon too. Are you literally getting raptured up into heaven, small child? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. No, 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 no. Let's leave. <laughs> Let's leave. It's time to go. <laughs> And we have the sun piece, so let's put that away. There's a sun-shaped hole. Put the sun piece in. Yes. Does anything happen? We're only going to have to get both pieces before we do that. <laughs> let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, what was down that ladder? We haven't been down here yet. We, we're outside now. We're in the grounds of the castle. The gate is locked with a padlock. It has a heart-shaped mark. I have a feeling we'll find the moon piece somewhere out here. Hmm. It has a giant gear. It looks like a lever uh, for a machine. Pull the lever? Yes. In case it unlocks something interesting. It doesn't seem like anything's happening. It might be missing a part. Okay. Let's keep looking then. Oh no, no, no. There's an iron ladder attached to the wall. This section is full of water. It's too dark to see the bottom. It seems pretty deep. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh yeah, Masao um, was another game I played, I think, was it last year? Oh no. Hi. Can I help you? Infiltration successful. Man, that wall was pretty high. It was a pain getting over it. I need to exercise some more. Oh, this place is depressing. Maybe they weren't lying about there being monsters here. Dude, are you breaking into this castle to go ghost hunting? Seriously? You're gonna fucking die. Huh, monsters. Give me a break. Man, I'm hungry. I better find that treasure and get out of here. Dude, you're gonna fucking die in this place. At least I have the power of God and anime on my side. You just have stupidity. God damn it.
Oh yeah, Masao was a great game. Very dark though. It dealt with some really, really um. <laughs> Cold. <it. laughs> I hear. I heard a yell from father inside. Oh no! What a terrible fate. But you see, you say that I. Hi. Come on. Got it. Bye. Like a boss. I mean, you fuck you fucked around and you found out. That's all I'm gonna say. The padlock is broken open. The box is empty inside. There's nothing here. Really? Okay. Is there anything in his pockets? Poor guy, he's already dead. Yeah, no shit! Hmm? It looks like he has something in his pocket. Take it? Yes. Rain piece! Yay! Okay, let's go. Let's get out of the hallway of eyes. Oh, we actually have a map. Okay, because I didn't look at the map before, but that's quite useful. Um, because then you can kind of see roughly like how, uh, what direction you're facing. So that's really good. Is that a moon piece in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me, Mike? Mike. No! <laughs> There's a moon-shaped hole. With the moon piece in it? Yes. Spooky shit. Hi. There's cold air flowing out from a crack underneath the door. Open the door. Yes. Oh, I don't like this. That's gonna turn into him, isn't it? I just know it. We're in the painting! Oh my god, we're in the painting! Is that the key I need? There's a heart-shaped key embedded in the painting. Take it? Yes. Got heart key. Hi. That's a that's a that's a, a lot of strawberry jam you have there. Oh no. Oh no 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 no, I'm gonna go. Bye guys, I'm leaving. Oh great, and everything's in hell. Oh god, okay. <laughs> what do you want? I'm trying to leave. I just got the heart key, I want to go. Oh look, it's a blood void. Oh great, everything's fine. Oh now the moons and stars have eyes. Oh, everything's fine, everything's fine. Go away. I feel like something's behind me. There's always something behind me in this game. Oh great, the blood void is worse now. There's nothing there. It must have been my bed. Dude! Do you not see you are trapped in the blood void? No, it's not your imagination. You are trapped in the blood void. <laughs> this game is making me lose my mind. I, I love this game though. Like, this is the kind of weird, su genuinely surreal, trippy shit that I live for. <sighs> go away, go away. Go away. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> oh no, there's more than one, isn't there? I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Through the eye door. 
That's now gone. <laughs> Dang, this game just spoiled my new EP, Trapped in the Blood Void. <laughs> Shit! I misclicked. It's yellow, not red. Fuck. Okay. Let's give that another try. There we go. Go away. Oh. Mm. Thanks. Jesus fucking Christ! Go away. Jesus, <laughs> that genuinely got me. <laughs> Fuck this game. Fuck it right in the blood void. <laughs> Maybe it's friendly. <laughs> okay, that genuinely got me. <laughs> oh my god, this is such a good game. I love it. Sweet Jesus making a grilled cheese sandwich with jalapenos. <laughs> Friggity frack cheese and Mac, fuck this game. I locked it with the hockey, you won't need this key anymore. Hooray! Like, I grew up on point and click adventure games and stuff like that, like Monkey Island and all that. So I love games like this so much, they feel like so nostalgic for me. But I swear to God, if I played this game as a teenager, um. I would have probably been driven insane because this is even getting under my skin a little bit and I'm an adult. I'm loving this, don't get me wrong, but it's just so good, you guys. It's just so good. If I was playing this game, that is the point I would have quit to desktop. <laughs> I mean, yeah, big mood. The door has boards all over it. I can't open it. I can feel the wind coming from a small crack in it. Peek inside the crack? Yes. Oh, it's the outside! It's the outside world! From what I can see, this must be the castle's main entrance. But the door won't budge an inch. I can't, don't think I can get it open with anything I have on me, either. Okay, we'll find a crowbar and we'll get it open. I'm curious, did you ever play Phantasmagoria when you were a kid? And that's ringing a bell. Um, I don't think I have though. I don't think I've played that before. Zogso. The plank on the door says Zogso. Zogso. Yeah, I think that was the masked guy's name. The one who brought me to this castle. Flashback? Ooh, flashback time. Hi. I feel like I should give it a voice like um, Morpheus from Sandman. The moon shines red tonight. A red moon means that blood has been spilled. How pleasant. The fragrance of blood floats on the wind. Oh. You look displeased, boy. I understand how you feel. Being shut in one room is rather stifling. And I'm forcing you to stay against your will. It's been four days now since you came to this old castle, I believe. Time really does fly. Have you gotten used to your life here? I want to go home. You want to go home? You want to see your loving mother, I understand. I really do. But you cannot. Even if you could. What do you mean by that? You must learn about the sanctity of life here first. That bookshelf contains records of the goddess's teachings. Start by reading those and educating yourself. Though I suppose that will grow boring after a while. If there is anything you desire, please do not hesitate to ask me. 
As long as it does not violate the rules I have set in place for this castle, I will do anything for you. Do you want toys? Or perhaps new clothes? I imagine you're tired of wearing my old hand-me-downs. Or maybe you'd like to play a game with me. I just found these card things yesterday in the human village. It seems you can play an elaborate game with them. Will you play with me? Is there nothing you desire? I already said I want to go home. I don't want to ask for anything superficial, but I kind of want to see what happens if I choose to play a card game. Oh! Did you just say what you want, you want to play a card game with me? I didn't mishear you, right? You want to play with me? Oh, I couldn't be happier. I'm delighted, tickled, in seventh heaven. You finally started opening up to me. Thank you. Then I'll go straight to my room and bring those cards here. Is what I'd like to say, but... But I have an errand I need to attend to now, so I will have to bring it to you tomorrow. How vexing. I wish we could play right now. Tomorrow. Tomorrow we will play cards. Together. Just focus on studying for today. Keep reading those books. Read them carefully and learn about how wonderful, how precious life is. If you study today, then we can play games tomorrow. Understand? Okay. What a good little boy you are. Now, I will see you again tomorrow. If I stay here any longer today, I'll simply end up wanting to cut you into bits and pieces. Well then, pleasant dreams, my boy. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> this game. Um. There's a note on the desk. Read it? Yes. The Reaper's Notes. The castle was abandoned. Perhaps it is deep within the forest or due to nasty Oh, due to the nasty rumours, the reason doesn't matter. It is incredibly fortunate that humans shy away from this place. Here I can finally realise my long-held dream. I can sort the souls of the dead. Some, of the, some are destined for heaven, others doomed to hell. We reapers must ensure all sinners go to hell. But upon closer inspection, some sinners were falsely accused or faced no other choice. There are even those who we were unable to judge. Nonetheless, these souls are still cast into hell. I cannot change this on my own. However, I will do all that is in my power to save them. Nocturne Castle is slowly gaining more residents. Each one of them has a sinful past, but they can still be rehabilitated. I will use the goddess's teachings to guide them to salvation. But if they do not heed my advice, I will once again show them my true face as a reaper. Though I dearly wish it does not come to that. Interesting. Okay. A deck of cards is on the desk. It must be for me. The bookshelf is full of tomes on the goddess's teachings. There are other weird books on demons and mysterious arts, too. It's a well-used piece of furniture. Nothing seems odd about it. There are black robes folded nicely in the drawer. Underneath them are neatly folded pairs of underwear. Well, that's unsettling. There's a description underneath the painting. Astaroth, the Great Duke of Hell. Astaroth, the Great Duke of Hell, taught us reapers a great many mysterious arts. He is peace-loving peace and kind, but was once used by those with twisted souls because of his immense power. While some say this invincible demon has some kind of weakness, the truth is shrouded in mystery. It's a statue of the goddess. You've done well to come this far. 
I admire your courage. Hi. We're really seeing the Lord's power in mysterious ways, aren't we? I can't believe he put a statue of me on a toilet. How insulting. I wish he'd stop leaving me in all sorts of weird places. He's such a creep. Oh, please excuse me. It's nothing, really. It's been quite some time. I miss Goddess. Has the rosary I gave you been of any use? It must have been terrifying coming this far. I'm sure you were attacked by many demons. But you made it through. I'm sure it's because of your phenomenal courage. That's the power you hold. I was only able to give you a small helping hand, but... I believe you're one step away from escaping this castle. If you can make it through the vast forest outside the castle, you should find your village. But before that, there is something you must know. The reason why I decided to help you. And why you were trapped inside a castle with the Reaper. The Reaper, the man in the mask, hasn't told you yet, has he? Which means... It's up to me to help you pick up the fragments of your lost memory. Are you ready? Yes. No, I don't understand. What? You don't understand? I see. I'm not very good at explaining. Um, okay then. So, in other words... Hmm. I mean, you're missing some of your memories from before you came to the castle, right? So you don't really understand why you're currently here. You could leave the castle and go home without remembering anything, but when you have holes in your memory, it puts you on edge. And besides, it's something really important. Don't you think you should try to remember it? So, I'm going to take you deep within your consciousness to get those memories back. And, that, and there's one thing that I'd like to give you as well. Uh, it seems I've got my message across. Okay, good. Then please call me when you are ready. This is really important after all. You need to make sure your mind is calm first. I'll be waiting for you. Okay, I don't think there's anything else I can do, so let's take a look at, uh, see if I can get my memories back. Because, yeah, I don't think there's anything else that I needed to do. I'm just kind of going through, like, the map in my brain, and I think, no, if anything, we might have even more stuff than mm, normal. Because we've got this, like, golden rat thing as well. As, like, this hook and the screwdriver. So, yeah, let's do the memory quest. Or whatever it is. Hello, this is the goddess. Now let us hurry to regain your lost memories. Is that alright? Yes. Good, then let us be on our way. Deep into your memories. A part of me is feeling like she's no goddess. I think she's another demon, but that's just my thought. Who knows? I see you've woken up. This is Nocturne Forest, the forest close by your village. But this is the world of your memories. You have not yet made it out of the castle. You'll likely pass along this road again or when you return home. Now then, this is a very important place that holds your slumbering memories. There are things here that you must never forget. You must face those memories, become aware of them, and continue to bear them for all your life. Please, press on into the forest. From here you can also control the protagonist with the keyboard. Okay. I'm so sorry, I said that wrong. Please proceed in that direction. Nocturne Cast castle lies ahead. Beware of demons. Ooh, flashback time.
We met a cute little strange green goblin friend. Oh. And then something went horribly wrong. I can apparently do magic now. Okay, great. Oh, okay, it's one of these kind of puzzles. Okay. Okay, it feels like when I light one, all the ones around it go out. Hmm. I can't quite tell if it's in a very particular pattern. Always just one more, damn it. Okay. Let's take a second and think. There we go. Thanks for the stretch check, Dork Souls. There we go. Got it. Hello. The dragon child who lives in Nocturne Forest. Oh, it's a little dragon. Oh. He has no name, so I call him Gura. Gura was lonely all by himself in this forest, but you two met when you took a stroll through the forest one day. For each of you, it was your first time having a friend. Why do I have a sneaking suspicion he's dead? And it's something I did. Having an, a tea party. How nice. I wish I could join you. It seems you often came to this forest to drink tea with him. You must have had the time of your life playing with him. And with time, I'm sure you became someone irreplaceable to him too. And then something bad happened. Oh no. Damn it. Let's give that another try.
Damn it. Oh, so close with that one. Okay, let's give that another try. Damn it. And yeah, like there's some elements that are also giving me kind of Undertale vibes with like the uh, genre awareness and uh, the fourth wall breaking as well. And the music definitely is a vibe. Damn it. I need to move faster. Shit. And at least the game doesn't like punish you for like fucking up little things like this part. Damn it. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. There we go. Oh, there's the castle. Oh no. After a while, the time came for you to part ways. Even dragons are mortal. And as unfortunate as it is, some leave this world before ever becoming adults. All you can do is watch over him as he faced the end of his days. Your one and only friend, your emotional support, vanished. such good friends. Oh no. Unable to withstand the depths of despair, you threw yourself off that cliff. It is a hard thing to lose it, dear friend extremely hard and yet such an act benefits no one it's foolish what a foolish decision okay i i didn't know this game was steep into that kind of territory so just take this game and what is going on with a grain of salt because she's kind of being a bitch about this um take care of yourselves guys because i'm not sure how weird this game's gonna get I'm not going to say that line. Fuck you. But you were a kind person. Although you could not save him in the end, you loved him and gave him such wonderful memories. You made a mistake, but I'm deeply grateful that you tried to save him. It's been a very long time since I've met a human with a heart as pure as yours. So, speaking personally, I'd like to give you one more chance. You agree, don't you, Gura? Oh, hi! Then please give him that, Gura. Oh, thank you, friend. Okay, we just found the fucking Holy Grail. Great! Inside the Holy Grail that Gura has just handed you is a special water that has the power to bring people back to life. Normally, I would never hand over something as precious as that. But this is an exception. However, drinking it now while you're still a ghost won't work. So first you need to find your corpse. No, your body at the bottom of the cliff. A miracle will happen when you pour the water from the Holy Grail into your mouth. 
Remember, this is just an exception, okay? Isn't that right, Gora? But you mustn't repeat the same mistake, alright? Don't ever forget that there are people who would be sad if you disappeared. Anyway, this is all I can do for you. I apologize for making you remember something so painful. Please live your life to the fullest from now on. There are so many things in the world to enjoy. I'm sure he wants you to be happy too. Yeah, I don't trust her. But Gura seems like a precious bean, though. Oh. Oh, it's okay, buddy. We're gonna get you out of the spooky castle, and I'm gonna try and keep you alive. Please wait a moment. Sorry to stop you. Actually, Gura asked me to give you something. Um, I think this is it. Oh, perfect. The thing I need for the machine back there. Perfect. It completely slipped my mind. I'm so sorry. But why would he give you that? Hmm, well, no matter. Well then, I'll be praying for your good health. One entrusted with the Holy Grail. Get thee behind me, Satan. I do not trust her at all. Oh, oh yeah, that was the boarded up entrance. a giant gear. Oh yeah, this is where it needs to go. It looks like something used to be here. Insert the small gear? Yes. Looks like it's a lever for the machine. Pull the lever? Yes. Water flowing underground. Okay, so that should have cleared up a bit. Okay, was there anything back there? Let me just go back one second. Because I wanted to check if there was anything behind me first. Um, no, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. A big mistake. It's a big fucking mistake. It's a floodgate. The water must have drained from here. I thought I saw something inside there. Yeah, I did too. I'm just gonna turn the fuck around and pretend I didn't see that shit. Everything's fine. Jackpot? Oh no. At least I got the mouse statue. Ow. No! No, you bastard! Long time no see! No, now whatever could you be doing down at a place like that? What, you fell? Come now, you need to be more careful. It's like what they it's like they say, you should watch your step. How sweet! By the way, did you know? Once upon a time, a witch used to live in the village by this castle. That was right about the time everyone was getting crazy, uh, crazy witch or, uh, crazy with all those witch hunts. So the lord of the land grew desperate and started hunting for that witch. He locked up and interrogated every suspicious person he could find, but never got any evidence. Except he had to honor his uphold, uh, his honor to uphold, see? So he trapped every shady looking villager down in the castle's dungeon. 
They were left there with no food, no water, just stuck in a pitch black room. Horrible, don't you think? Really makes you realise how far we've come, doesn't it? By the way, that dungeon I mentioned... Well, you're standing in it. I bet it's swarming with ghosts. What a terrifying place. It has its fair share of rats too. What else could we learn a king down there? <laughs> I'm so happy for you. You found so many friends. I hope you regret what you did to me for the rest of your life. Live out the rest of your days mired in terror and despair. You naughty little boy. <laughs> I'm going to snap your dumbass moon head in half, you idiot. There's a hole above me, but the walls are too high to climb out. Oh, great. Oh, brace yourself for jump scares, guys. There's going to be a Quite a few, I can tell. Oh. He. It looks like something will fit on the pedestal. Place the golden rat statue? Yes. Oh, great, more eye doors. Hook hand, man, core, man, car door. Everything's fine. This is fine. Pit of death. Oops. Time for some spooky shit. I, I think we're gonna have quick fire exorcisms going on, guys. Skulls are neatly lined in a row, like some kind of offering. Okay, picked up a skull that's probably gonna be useful. It's a symbolic picture of a demon. Something's written in small letters. Be true only to your desires. Yeah, I'm I'm vibing with this music though. Even though we were thrown into a pit of death by a f Go away, Skaven! Damn it, I missed it. Ah! Ow. Damn it! Mmm. Shit. Okay, one more try. Come on. I got this, I got this, I got this. Door is sealed shut. Okay. Uh. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it. I will say, I do appreciate when you do mess up and then die they don't do like a full sorry a, a full jump scare or anything like that because some of these are very tricky got it shaped like a rat. Okay, I wonder if I can go back and get the statue. There's a golden rat statue. It's stuck to the pedestal. Uh, what about the other one? Okay. It's 
stuck to the pedestal. Wait, did I go back the way I came? Yes. No! Shit. I need it there in order to get through. Looks like something we put on the pedestal. Oh! I'm gonna put the skull there instead. Does that work? Okay, good, 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 good. shaped like a rat. Insert the golden rat statue? Yes. I hear a door open in the distance. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, spooky skull. No. Oh, you were the friend from before. Got it. Oh. <laughs> now you can go and be with your friend. Skull is covered in a sticky kind of liquid. Okay, won't take that then. Let's go down here first. There's a round hole in the wall. Okay. I'm gonna need something for that, so let's go back the other way. I'm vibing to this music, I like it. Uh, golden rat statue. Both of those are stuck. Yes, Hayden, I'm so close to 39k subs on YouTube, it's amazing. Like, I'm still very taken aback by how well uh, my video did last Saturday and continues to do really well. So thank you so much, guys, for giving so much love to the latest chapter of my Yandere superhero video. Uh, there's a book on the desk. Read it? Yes. The Rat King. I lost everything. My family, my beloved, all of it. Humans are rotten pieces of filth. No way I go to heaven with them. I'll make this world squeaky clean. Purging is a rat's job. I'll nibble away every last scrap. We rats will cleanse it. We'll kill, eat, and multiply. A march of never-ending rats. An unstoppable swarm. We'll find every two-legged fiend. Oh, guys. Thank you. I, I really, I put so much effort into like furthering my voice acting career and like making these videos and stuff. So to see them do really, really well, it, it feels really re rewarding. So thank you. We'll make them scurry. We won't let them rest. We'll gnaw them to the bone. Every last scrap, leaving neither skeleton nor teeth until the world's been purified. Oh, well, there's something under the book. Rat metal. It looks so fucking goofy. Oh, hi. Luke. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I lost track of it at the end. Damn it! Gonna give that another try. It was either on the left or was in the center. I'm gonna give the center another try. Ooh. Oh no, I got the medal. Also, hi Talon, how's it going? Got it. Hee <laughs> hee. T 
Team Rocket's blasting off again! Oops. There's a huge hole in the floor, so I can't reach the other side. There's a round hole in the wall. Insert the rat metal. Yes. Okay, I'm genuinely curious, because I kind of absentmindedly picked up the rat, the golden rat in the kids' room. If you don't pick that up, you can't get through the door back there. And I wonder if that's just like a game over for you. And then it's just like, the poor kid rotted away in the pits of the dungeon. Oh, I don't like this. It's the void, and not the blood void. What was that? Mmm. Mmm. There's gonna be some spooky shit. There's a painting on the wall. What's it supposed to be? I know the face of that bitch. It's you. It's kind of a crummy painting. Crummy? How rude. Whoa. This is a painting of my beloved Miss Goddess. I spent a lot of time trying to get it to look just Whoa. right. The hardest part was hanging it up there. Oh, I should have given you a different voice, sir. It's been a while. I thought I told you to stay in your room. What are you doing all the way down here? On the deepest part of the castle, no less. More importantly, how did you get down here? Hmm. -hmm. Hmm? That thing you have there, is that a rosary? And the Holy Grail too? Could that be? Did Miss Goddess give those to you? Did she? Yes. Amazing, so she did. Actually, she told me a little bit about it. I never dreamed you'd receive the blessings of the gods. It seems you no longer have any reason to stay here. Shall I bless you as well, then? The gods have seen potential in you. I can't do much more to help. Personally, I'm delighted for you. Because you've gained the will to live. But it is terribly unfortunate that I was born as a reaper. I want to lead you out of here, but my nature as a reaper won't allow me to. Just as humans cannot stop themselves from urinating, I cannot defy my fate as a reaper. I apologize for the crude comparison. <laughs> I'll show you something cool. Oh no. This is a reaper's scythe. Those cut up by it are cast into hell. They're an essential part of us reapers, our partners. Shit. I wonder how well my partner will slice today. <laughs> Why am I showing this to you? Well, in short, this is a threat. Please go back to your room immediately and forget that you were ever here. This is my final piece of advice. If you still insist on proceeding forward, I'll cut you. That was just a joke. I won't cut you. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, that kind of got down my spine a little bit. Not gonna lie. Like, genuinely, these kind of spooky vibes I'm, I'm really loving. Like... Like, sure, there's jump scares and everything, and there's, like, but the fourth wall breaks and the kind of retro style just... Mwah. He. It's pitch black up ahead, but I can feel a faint breeze. Climb the stairs. Yes. Everything's fine. Hey, a 
jump out of the dungeon. Mm, I saw that shit. Can I go this way? Hey, tell me how's it going? Welcome to the Blue Rose Respite. Watching you. Watching you. Oh, I'm outside again. Oh, you take care, Baron. Thank you so much for joining us. Nocturne Castle lies ahead. Beware of demons. Okay. I've been here before, though. The lack of music is making me uncomfortable, though. Something's gonna happen. It wouldn't surprise me if right at the end, like, we have to fight the goddess. Or, like, she she turns against us. Because I, I think there's something about the Reaper, even though he's being framed as, like, our captor and everything like that, there's something that I think there's more. Because he sees it as just kind of doing it doing his job. Like, he's not being actively malicious. Mm, imprisoning a kid in their room and stuff like that is, of course, malicious and fucked up. But at the same time, it's... I don't know, something genuine doesn't sit right with me about the goddess, and so I have a feeling like there's more to the Reaper than meets the eye. Hello. My, my. You are certainly brave. So my threat had no effect. I can see why Miss Goddess chose you. But I won't hold back. Oh shit. This is truly my final warning. Give up on going home and return to the castle, I beg you. If you take one more step, I'll cast you into hell. Oh shit. Fuck it. Ah, it was just a joke. I would never do something like- <gasps> You bastard, you motherfucker. Okay. No, I don't want. Okay. Please tell me that this isn't game over completely. Okay. We keep going. Oh no. Something's written in white. Genesis Station. Hello. Are you another Reaper? Wahaha. <laughs> Zogzo sliced you up, huh? He always makes such a clean cut. Never leaves a scratch. That's something only a Reaper's scythe can do, you know. I'm the very man of this world. Zamza. I guide lost souls to where they belong. I'm a boring guy, really. We won't know each other for very long, but it's nice to meet you. Well, you're still just a kid though, huh? I can't believe he sent me such a young human. What a horrible thing to make someone do. The train should be here soon. Do you like trains? Mm -hmm. It should take us to our destination. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and hop mm -hmm. on, boy. You can no longer go back. Oh, this might be one of the endings. Hmm. I'm curious. Because there are multiple endings to this game. I'm just going with the one that just happens. And I'm not aiming for anyone in particular. Okay, I imagine these souls aren't very talkative. We're getting close to heaven. The land of paradise. Heaven. It 
It'll be a little while yet before we reach our destination. Why don't you look out the window while you wait? Can I walk around? Ahead is the driver's compartment. I'm not allowed in there. Dear God, please protect me. Let me reach heaven safely. Please, I beg you. You must have died pretty young, Sonny. I've lived long enough. I don't have any regrets. But I'll pray that you'll be able to attain new life. Hey! I died? I'm dead? Where am I going? I left my child behind. Where? Hey! Shuba, shuba, shuba. Bop, bop. Huh? You're here too? Really? Yay! Awesome! What a great surprise! I didn't think we'd meet again! Yay! Party time! Oh, oops. You gotta be quiet on the train. Maybe they can help me? The door is sealed shut. Can you help me? Trains are really cool. They shake back and forth like you're in a moving room. I'd like to dance with you again. But if we dance in here, we might fall. That'd be scary. Okay, they don't say anything else, okay. Let's head back then. You cannot escape, boy. Please, let me go. There's more shit I have to do, please. Okay. Still not allowed back there. Oh, shit. Okay, is there anyone else on the train? Ex boyfriend, welcome to the Blurers Respite. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, yeah, this train's going to heaven, I guess. I wonder what heaven's like. I hope it has nice people. But I really didn't think I'd ever see you again. Honestly, I'm not sure this is really where you belong yet. But here you are, so I guess you can't do anything about it. Just gotta stay positive. Okay. Oh, Spice X Boyfriend, thank you so much for the subscription. Thank you so, so much for your support, especially if it's your first time with us tonight. Thank you. Oh, you're amazing. Thank you so much. I guess we're here. I'm kind of nervous. Okay, see you on the other side. Oh, shit. I'm going to go back and see if they're there. I want someone to take my hand. They're asleep. Oh, can I? Okay, damn it. I thought maybe if they were asleep I could sneak past, but okay. Ooh, okay. If the goddess shows up, I'm going to be very skeptical. Something... This is either the ending of the game or something's going to go down. I mean, it could be the ending. Through trials and tribulations, they do eventually get out. Of course not. Of course not. Of course this isn't over yet. As the train goes through the strawberry fields. You're finally awake. That's right, you weren't dreaming. You just got off at the wrong stop. You're going somewhere else. Fa la la. It's 
up to hell we go. Seems we've finally arrived. Mm -hmm. Ready to get off, boy? Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Blood for the blood god, skulls for the skull throne. Oh shit. Hi. It's still going. Path of pitch. Okay. Go on ahead. Okay. We're gonna... We're gonna Dante's Inferno this, aren't we? And you are my Virgil. We're on our way to hell. That's right, mm -hmm. hell. There you'll be constantly subjected to unbearable mm -hmm. torture. Unable to escape or do anything, simply enduring the pain. Mm -hmm. It's where hope goes to die. Mm -hmm. Uh, would a mod mind taking care of that bot for me, please? Mm -hmm. But relax. There will be peace after all is said and done. You'll be released from the pain. Look at this mountain of bones. It looks savage at first glance, but their expressions are clearly serene. They don't, uh, don't they look like they found the peace they longed for? Just see those smiles. Oh, great! It's a fucking Dracolich. Okay, great. Great, great, great. Of course, I'm sure there's ones who are unsatisfied too. Nightmares are like samsara, the endless cycle of death and rebirth. Mm -hmm. The wheel just keeps turning and turning for all eternity. Mm -hmm. We should keep mm -hmm. moving. I'm staying within the torches. I'm not going to wander. Oh no, this is the final door. Go on inside. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Are we gonna go back into the blood void? But the visuals of this game are just so unsettling and so creepy, but so good. Oh, it's all good, Scarlet. Just gonna keep moving. This is a really messed up game, but I'm kind of digging it. Just, um,. Quick content warning, there are like dis discussions of topics of um, self-death in this game that I wasn't expecting, so just take care of yourselves, guys. Welcome to the gates of hell. A kid this time, huh? Zogzo sent you here, right? Oh, splendid, splendid. I'm Araman, and I'll be your best friend from now on. We'll be spending a lot of time together. We'll cut you to the bone, patch you back up again, care for you and punish you. We're in charge of everything. Maybe a mother is, be is a better comparison than a friend. A terrifyingly kind mother. Mama hates it when her kids kick and scream, especially kids who try to escape. So no fighting or running now. First we'll twist your body into one that pleases Mama. All the kids in here are very obedient, so make sure you're respectful too, got it? You wanted to see your mom, didn't you? How nice for you. You have a new mother now. The folks behind you are like your mama too. They're going to take real good care of you. Well, I call them mothers, but it's not like they breastfed or anything. <laughs> mm -hmm. A new 
doll just for us. I can't wait. Unable to even die, an agonizing endless pain. Well, I'm gonna get out of here one way or another. Because the game's not over yet, guys. Can you help us? Please help us. You're gonna be okay. We'll get you out of here, hopefully. Oh no. No. Help. Thank you for the hydrate check, Jen. Thank you, thank you. I needed that. This is as far as I can take you. From here on, a proper escort will guide you. Farewell, boy. It was only a short while, but it's been a long time since I could chat with someone whose heart has a heart as pure as yours. Thanks for the stretch check, Hayden. Oh. Thanks. Oh no, kid. Run. No. No, 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 no. No. Stop it. Ooh, okay. Stop it, please. I've changed my mind. I'll keep him in my custody. Put us down. Back the fuck up. Sorry about that. This way. <sighs> Thank you for saving us, friend. Yee. You and I are the only ones who know about this path. Got it? Okay. The story continues. We're not dying yet, guys. Well, we are dead, but we're not staying in hell, hopefully. Plot, 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 plot. Mm -hmm. huh? Up ahead is the land of eternal rest, one step before hell. Mm -hmm. The souls of the holy warriors sleep peacefully there. Mm -hmm. Or so say the goddess's teachings, at least. Mm -hmm. It just sounds suspicious. Mm -hmm. I hope they really are resting peacefully. Mm -hmm. The goddess... Mm -hmm. She used to be a normal girl too. Her story is so sad. Mm -hmm. She sees me as her enemy, but... Mm -hmm. Is she really acting of her own will? Mm -hmm. By the way, about that cup you're clinging on to. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Yes, I mean the Holy Grail. Mm -hmm. You were going to use that to come back to life, weren't you? Mm -hmm. If you do that though, you'll also be turned into a holy warrior. Mm -hmm. A warrior who is bound to serve the gods. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if that's the only way you can see your beloved mother again, 
It's a difficult choice, isn't it? Well, no point in agonizing over it. You can't return to the world of the living anymore anyway. I don't have the power to perform a miracle like that. But I can at least guide you to a certain place. Asgard, okay. We're going all over the place in this game. This is great. That's right, heaven's back door. Ahead is a door that leads to heaven. I'll go ahead to prepare and wait for you there. What in the end of Evangelion is this? I wish that I could turn back time Cause now the fault is all mine <laughs> God damn it A note has fallen to the ground, it's crammed with writing Read it? Yes A holy warrior's memoir Golden head Patrick, blue skinned adult Friends who drank of the Holy Grail together were restored. Yes, friends, my friends. We were ordered by the gods to engage in mortal combat with demons in the world, and at the end of a fierce struggle we died and came here to Asgard. No one truly knew what it meant to drink of the Holy Grail, including me, until coming here. We merely wish to return to our previous lives. That's all, but it's fine. After all, life here was magnificent. We had friends, comrades we could sympathize with. We laughed over our past tales of hardship as we drank together. Those days were joyful, surely even more so than our time spent in the world. But one day, yes, I was sharing a drink with Patrick and Adolf as usual. Suddenly I saw a horde of demons in black armor flying at us from afar, their faces twisted with hatred. It all happened in an instant. I watched as a sharp, blade-like object sprouted from Patrick's stomach, stopping right before my very eyes. Poor Patrick, stabbed by a demon from behind, his guts and drinks spilling onto the floor. That's why I tried to pick it, uh, them up in desperation, to return them back uh, to his stomach, but no matter how hard I tried, they just kept spilling. I was completely seized by fear. I've never seen Patrick look like that before. So I ran from here, abandoning my friends. Yes, I was terrified. Along the way, I found the corpses of a demon and stripped of its black armor. I donned it in order to fool the demons and hid myself. For a long, long time I wore that black armor, even after my friends' screams had faded. When I went out again after what seemed like an eternity, the blue lake I had known was now stained red with blood. All the, war the people and demons had vanished. I was the only one left to walk this land. After that, I was always alone. Patrick and Adol Adolf are gone. Where could they have gone? Recently I have trouble even remembering their faces. This black armor I stole from the demon seemed to eat at my memories and soul, as if it had a mind of its own. Even if I wanted to take it off, I cannot. It's cursed. This must be my punishment for abandoning my friends. But I don't want to lose all my memories, so I will write them down in this notebook. Mere strings of words that won't return my true memory to me. Golden-haired Patrick, blue-skinned Adolf. Okay. One second. I don't have pen and paper on me, but I'm going to take a photo of that because I'm not sure if there's going to be a puzzle later that asks, like, what was the name of my friends? Just in case. I miss them so. Okay, what's down this way? What? What's up? This is bad. Very bad. They've come again, and I'm terrible at fighting. Oh. I'm sorry. Usually there's a door here that leads to heaven, but apparently it's not working right now. Do you see the monoliths with the emblems of heaven over there? They connect this place to heaven. Normally they shine gracefully, but they seem to be drained now. Poor things. I know what's causing it. 
The monolith's en energy supplies have been shut down. Vile demons are behind this. So the only option is to face them head on and drive them off with this scythe of mine. Come, necrophage. Hey. Hello. Are you awake? It seems demons have infiltrated this land again. Which means it's meal time. Time to go get them. I'd rather not have to do this. Now I need a scythe. Give the child a knife. A knife scythe. Come on. Mm -hmm. oh. My age is catching up to me. My legs are completely worn out. It's been a while since I've walked this much. Let me rest a bit. Uh, it's no use. I can't go any farther today. This isn't good. I need to take care of those demons. Huh? Would you possibly... Go handle them in my place? Yes. You're such a kind, obedient child. Mm -hmm. That's right. You're a good child with the power to save others. Mm -hmm. They send someone like you to hell? Mm -hmm. I can't accept that. Mm -hmm. I'm a reaper with moral principles. Mm -hmm. Of course. I won't let you go alone. Mm -hmm. Take my scythe with you. I'm sure he'll aid you greatly. Mm -hmm. Hi, friend. Seems to have taken a liking to you. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. His name is Necrophage. You may call him Necro for short. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's all good, Atomic Cat. It's all good. My voice is apparently very soothing to some people. So, um, as some people have like to chill out to my streams. It's all good. Or fall asleep. Uh, the monolith's energy supplies are in different mm -hmm. places. It may take some time, but please drive the demons mm -hmm. away. It's all up to you. Mm -hmm. No pressure. We got this, Necro. Let's check this way first. Oh, this soundtrack slaps. Hello. Zell is your name. Oh no, not this one again. Damn it. I messed up. Let's give that another try. There we go. Oh, awesome. New art as well. One down. I assume then the others are in the other different directions. Okay, one down, three to go. Or, I think... Yeah, it could be just like three we need to take care of and then it'll open up. 
Oh, oh, that's cool. Oh, this game is so trippy. I love it. again. There we go. next to nothing about this game at all before playing it and I'm just so taken aback by how visually fascinating it is like and genuinely when we were at the castle there were some points I was genuinely starting to get stressed from from fear like this game is so damn good Sean a stargazer thank you so much for the 45 bits hello Stephanie it's been a while I figured I would send some bits to cheer you on how are you doing I'm doing very very well I'm loving this game and thank you so much for the amazing bits thank you and welcome back it has been a while I hope you're doing well Okay, that's all three of them, I think. Let's go see how uh, it's doing. I'm doing well, thank you. Aside from one stressful week, it's been an interesting adventure. Taking active classes in a self-defense course and in my spare time playing space engineers. That sounds awesome. I'm taking acting classes as well. They're tough, but they're so rewarding. There we go. And yeah, there's a lot of elements in this uh, game that remind me of Soul Eater as well. Thank you. Now we can go through the back door to heaven. I'm sorry, I'm just bad at dealing with demons. Whenever I see them, my legs give out. Now let's get going. To heaven's back door. Everything's fine. <gasps> oh, oh, I like this. Oh, this is very cool. We finally made it. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, you tried to get off the train and go through Heaven's Gate, right? Mm -hmm. That was the front entrance. Sinners can't pass through that door. Mm -hmm. This is the rear entrance. Mm -hmm. It's called that because we Reapers use it. Mm -hmm. Reapers are shunned in Heaven. Mm -hmm. But this back door will allow anyone through it. Mm -hmm. It's a lovely door. Mm -hmm. 
Now go and pass on to the land of happiness. I give you my permission. Thank you, Samsa. <gasps> no! What's the matter? I see you're just overjoyed to be able to get to go to heaven. No! <gasps> Fuck you! Goddess. Oh, I'm going to kill her. I'm going to kill her. I finally managed to kill you, Reva Zamza. Oh, I'm so sorry. Was he a friend of yours? Oh, that was just terrible of me. But those who disturb the order of things must receive punishment. Though I am grateful to him for having for saving you from hell. We almost lost you, our hope for the future. Where do you think you're going? I can't let you go to heaven. Does that mean you belong in hell? My gracious, no. Those who hold the Holy Grail are destined for another place. You want to see your mother, don't you? Then let us return. To the place where you belong. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh no. We were so close. Fuck. I would like to fucking rage. Oh my god, I want to... Oh my god. And there's my body. It's my body. No, shit. Wakey, wakey. What is this game called? It's a game called Zell, Z-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, and it's amazing. I can feel my heartbeat. Thanks for the stretch check, Sean. Uh, thank you. Needed that. Starry Cape. I'm going to fight the goddess. I, I want to fight her. Let's check up here first. Here lies holy warrior Adolf. Hmm? Something's written in a tiny letter beneath it. I departed to the world of void. It had no light, sound, anything. It was horrible. But once I let go, I found peace. We're going to attack and dethrone God, literally. Oh. God, this game gets you right in the feels. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful game, though. There's a cave mating. I wonder how old it is. It looks like a knight on a horse and a weird creature are fighting. Holy warrior stuff? Look, I get it's just a name, but Holy Warrior Adolf is still unsettling. Yeah, you're not I'm you're not alone in that. It's weird for me too. Just just a little weird. Excuse you? What? I missed. Long time no see, Squirt. It's me, Araman. You know, the one from hell. Speaking of which, how the hell did you escape? I gotta get you back to where you belong. No. No, fuck off. 
Do you seriously think he'd manage to escape? I like this art though, this is really cool. Too bad, hellhounds can sniff out anything. Bye. You thought you could get rid of me with a rosary like that? You underestimate me. I'll tear you to shreds and carry your remains back. Shit. Damn it, I ran out of time. I need to give that another try. Okay, continue. Okay, let's just kind of jump through it a little bit. One. Well, under us, man. Two shreds and carry your remains back. Got it! You just don't get it, do you? Struggling is useless. Playtime's over. Die. Okay. Oh. Okay, we can do that now, apparently. Oh no, now I'm I'm possessed by the goddess or some shit. But at least I punched his head off. That was satisfying, not gonna lie. Reaper's gonna show up again. I just know it. Lord into the dark forest, trapped by a Reaper and cast into hell, saved by the goddess and transformed into a prodigy. That's quite the story. Oh, hello. Oh my, I'm impressed that you managed to spot me. I suppose you know me a human anymore. Still, I wonder how you made it this far. You even got your body back. This is a cross-shaped monument. It was made in honor of all the people who throw themselves off this cliff. Unfortunately, it has only succeeded in drawing more people here to die. Nonetheless, it's an appropriate place for you to meet your death once again, don't you think? If only it hadn't, I hadn't come along, this story would have ended peacefully. It really is unfortunate. And you're about to set forth into your wonderful second chance at life, too. I feel like I'm ending a newborn baby's life. It truly really makes my skin crawl. But I can't, just cannot stop myself. Well, try. Seems it'll be a long time before I'm released from this nature of mine. And yet, you've become so very brave. The events of a single night have caused you to grow so much. I like that look in your eyes. Oh shit. Don't just stand there, kid. Boss battle? Now then, shall we kill each other? Beautiful. The light of the rosary is truly sublime. But that alone will not defeat me. Okay, I think I have to hit yellow because that's his eye, but I don't know about the enemies he's summoning. 
You cannot defend yourself, you're through. Or you'd prefer to let yourself be killed. Okay, I have to be quick. I think I have that, like a split chance to hit him. Or I could do that. What amazing power. I can feel my body weakening. The fear of death is gripping me. It seems the gods have blessed you glorious. I can no longer consider you a mere human. The beat of your heart reverberating through your body. If you misuse that power, it will consume you. Which of us will fall first? You or I? I'm not quite sure anymore. Shit. Come on! Got it. Oh no. Because I drank from the Holy Grail and brought my body back, am I now enslaved to the goddess? There must be more limits on who gets cast into hell. Only truly evil people should be subjected to that kind of pain, don't you think? What is accomplished by inflicting such pain and agony? The mass of human resentment is taking form and bearing its fangs. Oh, that's, uh, horrifying. Choo-choo, <laughs> motherfucker. Come on. Got it! I hated that jump scare so much. Nicely done. Incidentally, are you good at spot the difference games? Oh no. Oh shit, um... Got it. <laughs> We're collapsing together, aren't we? I desire to save you, and yet I long to kill you. There's nothing worse than your subconscious rebelling against you. Shut up, shut the hell up. All you do is bladder on, I've had enough. I'll crush you and the kid, here and now. I I punch the moon. <gasps> Shit, that actually gave me a heart attack. I thought the game crashed suddenly. Oh, no. Go away. Go away. Oh, my consciousness is fading. Is this the end for me? Hey, give the guy a break, would you? The ball guy is having a really rough time. He's a reaper. And yet nothing's more important to him than making humans happy. That kind of guy is like a lion who refuses to eat meat. Utterly hopeless. So I've got to make him remember... What meat tastes like.
you monster. Come on. Oh, this is not fair. The time has come to use my Reaper's Scythe, but struggle as I might, I doubt I can beat you. And so I will summon him. It may anger the goddess, but that does not concern me. We Reapers never allow a sinner to evade us. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The Archdemon of Demise is coming. Oh no. Oh no. Second phase, guys. Second phase. This is fine. What even is this game anymore? Okay. I have to click fast. What the fuck even is this game anymore? Hey there, brother. Is this the first time we've met? So how's it feel to take in the power of the Holy Grail? Wait, we're brothers? Okay. Does it feel good? Or does it hurt? I know exactly how you feel. I once drunk from the Holy Grail, same as you. That's why we're brothers. Fighting demons until the day we die. A pair of despondent brothers. I threw in the towel long before you, though. But this opponent is just too much. Isn't that right, brother? That cursed reaper, he summoned an abomination, didn't he? We can't win. We may have the power of the grail, but we're only human. And we can't escape either. We'll never break free, not until we die. Is there anything else to click on? No, no, please. Oh, fuck you. It's the same. Over and over and over and over. We continue to stand back up until we die. We're nothing but pawns. We're disposable pawns, brother. We keep fighting. The bell rings. And we fight again and we keep battling until we die. Like inflatable punching bags. I think it was just an unfortunate choice of the name, but... Let's just call them blue. Let's just call them blue. And just see where the rest of this game takes us. Oh, I'm sure you're pulling an awful face right now. I don't want to see it. I can't look. Help isn't coming. It was the same for me. He'll just toy around, around with you until you draw your last breath. Come on, blue. We got this. Get up. What should I say to you, my brother? No. Stop that. You're not looking so good, Blue. It's excruciating. Horrific. But the goddess won't come to help you ever again. She makes you drink from the Holy Grail and that's the end. She'll never appear again. It was the same for me. 
the goddess isn't merciful at all. All she needs are pawns to keep fighting the demons back. Salvation is just a flimsy excuse she uses to justify it. Words are worthless. Nothing I can say would help. Until you do, I'm gonna just keep doing this. That's different. You're not looking so good, Blue. Brother, do you believe in miracles? I don't. There are people like us who only ever draw the short end of the stick. Death will come soon. This might be the ending of this game because... It wouldn't surprise me if I fucked up by moving towards the body because I didn't have a choice to drink to not drink the water from the Holy Grail but I'm just gonna see where this goes let's go to a tranquil world without sadness or joy or anything okay okay I knew this wasn't over. This game, though. I want to see what happens. Come on. Come on. Can I literally not? Okay, I might have done something that fucked up, like a, a true ending or something like that. I'm just, huh, okay. If I, if I move to quick game and it literally closes the game, I'm going to try opening it again just to see what happens. But I, I, cause I can't proceed. It's not, it's literally pushing me back. I can't go any further than that. Racing for jump scares. Oh, kid, you deserve so much better. No, no. Go, go away. <gasps> Friend. Gary. Oh. oh, my heart is so full of feelings right now. Oh, fuck. Gary, can we... Okay, let's... Can we go back? Yes. Oh. <gasps> 10 out of 10 game of the year. Oh, my heart is so full of Run!
run! Run, you precious little beans! Okay, I'm totally- The voice is getting to me, fuck! Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Yes! We have the power of God and anime on our side! Fuck you, demon! This is your power of friendship and I'm loving this. <laughs> You're in trouble now. <laughs> e. Through the power of friendship, God and anime. Fuck yes. Hello. You've had some time to think? Oh no, please wait a moment. Please do not be so wary. I won't do anything, I promise. Thank you. I did something dreadful, didn't I? I caused a lot of trouble for you as well. After summoning him again, I... Oh, you want to go home, don't you? To where you once were. I apologize, I'm always so selfish. I know you would never forgive me. It is so easy to spew apologies. Putting those sentiments into action is what's genuinely hard. The other me, the Reaper side of me, suddenly burst free. I thought I had managed to prevail over it recently, but when I recall that debacle from just a moment ago, I know I still have a long way to go. I think abandoning my reaper instincts is the way to atone for what I did to you. And if you, who has received the power of the Grail, ever find yourself fighting against demons again, I would like to help you. That is all. For now, it seems that is the only thing I can do to make amends. I intend to continue watching over lost souls within that old castle. Please, come see me anytime if you have any troubles. Mm. Oh yes, that's right. Let us be on our way. I'm sure you are also anxious to return home. I shall guide you. Please excuse us. By the way, it seems your friend is waiting for you at the just farther ahead. Are you that dragon's friend? I've witnessed yet another mystery. 
with them, it may be possible to survey distant worlds. Surveying the world from up in the sky, even a gemstone could not be more beautiful than that. Now, let us go, Sir Astaroth. <laughs> Friend? Oh my god, I, my heart can't take this. Oh my god, this game. And is that it? Roll, roll credits. Come on, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna feel safe until I see credits. This is too fucking cute, but there we go. Okay. Oh my god. So that was an experience. <laughs> um, this game, holy shit, you guys! I went into this game pretty much completely blind. And the only thing I kind of wanted to familiarize myself with was if there was like multiple endings and kind of what uh, rough subject matter kind of dealt with and just to see if it would be appropriate for my stream. But uh, yeah, I still don't feel safe until I'm back at the menu and everything's wrapped up. The goddess better not show up or I'm going to be pissed. Um, but holy shit, guys. If you're still here and you're watching it from this whole stream from start to finish, this game was such a roller coaster. I loved it so much. Like, I I played a couple of um, RPG Maker games. Like, I think I because the couple of that I played last year was um, Mad Father, Misao, and what was the other one? Witch's House. I played those three. Um, and I had this one on my uh, up, on my uh, Steam library for a long time, and so I was looking at games like, okay, what's a nice like short one I could play it in one night? And I was like, okay, Zell, it looks interesting, kind of fits the vibes of uh, what my stream goes for. So I'm like, okay, I'll try this one. I had no idea how batshit insane it would get in all the right ways, like. It was just so good, like, and considering this was like a tiny, tiny team who built this, like, this is a very much an independent game, um, like, you probably saw, like, the credits are relatively short, they give special thanks to the people who helped them on this, but it has, like, one composer, a pianist, um, and I think it's only, like, one, one or a handful of people that did the actual like art and gameplay and everything else and the writing like this game was just so trippy and surreal in all the ways that I like where it's kind of unsettling and creepy but it's awe inspiring at the same time like I'm not sure if like the stuff back at the castle would be counted as like glitch core like glitch horror kind of stuff um but this is definitely, as it's described in on Steam and by uh, the developers, as an occult adventure game. While there are elements of horror, I very much agree that it's much more focused on adventure than horror elements. But, oh my god. It, it's, it's so good, you guys. 
But Mike, thank you so, so much for the gifted sub to Senior Parrot. Thank you so much, Mike. You're amazing. I love you. Thank you so much for being with us right at the end and for dropping by. Like, you, you for watching this stream. Thank you so much for your support and for being uh, an incredible friend. Thank you so much. And so, yeah, it just has one person credited as the developer of this game. This absolutely amazing game. Okay, fuck. Okay, here we go. I'm wait. I'm waiting for the other shooter to drop. Come on. Oh, do we get to go home? Is this is this mom's house? Of course, yeah. The ending was so beautiful. I had to give something. Oh, thank you, Mike. My heart is so full of feels right now. Oh, friend. Oh. Oh, my friend. Oh, it's okay. You're home now. No, don't. Don't end in a question mark. Don't. Okay. I won't feel safe until we're back at the menu. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Don't. Okay. Fuck. It was my ranking for all the quick time games. I my father I fucking sank. <laughs> fuck. Congratulations. Go fuck yourself. Your holy warrior rank was A. An astonishing achievement, reflex reflective of awesome reflexes, audacity and accuracy. He drove back many demons within the castle. It appears the goddess recorded the results of each and every encounter, but why would she do such a thing? She is truly an enigma. Truly an astounding accomplishment. Yes, yes. Well then, I will now go to watch over the boy who has returned to his mother. When the demons present themselves to him again, and when he finds himself teetering on the brink of despair, I would like to be there for him. I will have to dispose of this reaper facade by then. One day, surely I too will reach those heights and become one overflowing with love, much like the noble Zamza. Why did he die, though? Who in the world killed him, and where? It is truly difficult to believe. The rage is, this rage is the one thing I will continue to carry with me until the day when I cut down the villain who killed Zamza with my own two hands. Now then, I wish upon you a good life filled with joy, O oh, esteemed player. Hi! May you avoid the blackened path that will lead you down to me. My nerves are fucking shot, you guys! <laughs> Go back to menu. Go to menu. If 
the goddess shows up, I swear to God. Okay, thank you for playing. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you for the hydro checks. <laughs> My nerves are fucking shot tonight, guys. <laughs> well, we did it, guys. Yay! Oh, we did it. Okay, we... Okay, we're back, we're back in the menu. Fuck. Oh, fuck me. Okay, guys, that was Zell. Um, this game took me completely by surprise. I, it's, it's so cheap on Steam, and there's multiple endings to it. Like, I don't know what the other endings are. I just wanted to go with my gut when playing this game for the first time, when experiencing this game for the first time. And holy shit, I am so thankful that you guys stuck around. Because I was thinking, like, this is a very, very small game. It isn't super popular. So I was going to expect maybe, like, averaging about, like, 20 viewers or something like that. But guys, we kind of sat very nicely at about, like, 30 or so viewers throughout the whole night. Like... Holy shit, guys. Thank you so much for sticking through this absolutely incredible experience. Shauna Stargazer, thank you so much for the 50 bits. Before I go, I want to say it was good to see you again, Stephanie. I'm afraid my house chores and writing are calling me. Between you and me, I'm working on a tale revolved around Donna Beneviento from Resident Evil 8. My, it's my hope to give Donna a second chance to heal her wounds and move on as a person. Sean, that is a wonderful sentiment. I wish you all the best of luck with your writing and thank you so much for the bits. <laughs> But guys, thank you so much for joining me tonight on this absolutely incredible adventure. Um, when I was sitting down getting things going, a part of me was wondering like, okay, maybe is this like an off choice for the night? Maybe should I pick something different? But no, I announced it. I'm going to play it. And I'm so glad I did. This was an absolutely incredible experience. And this is... A game that had so much heart and soul put into it like it's this very small development team so honestly go and support the developers check it out on Steam if you want to um, experience it for yourself maybe like wait a couple of weeks so you, like you completely forget about it as much as possible so you can experience it fresh for yourself but holy shit this was such an amazing experience and I'm so thankful I got to share this with you guys but I think with that we should wrap things up for tonight. If you've been lurking in the shadows and you like what you've seen so far, please consider following. We would love to have you back at the Blue Rose Respite. You're welcome anytime. Be sure to check out my other socials in the chat that are popping up now, including my Twitter for important updates and other fun things, my YouTube for my ASMR tales, and my Instagram for lovely pictures. I am almost at a thousand followers on Instagram and I would love to hit that number very, very soon. So if you haven't checked that out yet, please do. I would love uh, if you would consider following um but also this felt like a a lovely pick to get into the spirit of things for next week's game for my friday streams um i think we're going to be finishing up cult of the lamb uh next sunday so i'm gonna have a little think about what to do for my soothing sunday streams but for next friday there's a game coming out that i've been waiting years to come out and it just so happens to be dropping next Friday so uh, keep an eye on my socials because I'm going to be announcing it maybe this weekend maybe at the start of next week but um, there's a game coming out next Friday that I'm very excited for if you know what it is don't say it in chat I don't want to spoil it but I really hope that you guys join me next Friday at the Blue Rose Respite as I play another game that is thrilling and chilling in all the right ways. And a familiar face might be making an early return. But let's go see who's currently streaming and we'll go send them some love, okay? Let's go say hi. You know what? Let's go say hi to my amazing friend Garrett. Because he is 
a wonderful friend. So be sure to give him plenty of love from the Blue Rose Respite. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend, guys. Thank you so much for the bit drops, the gifted subs, the renewed subscriptions. Thank you so, so much. I hope you all had a fantastic night and have a wonderful weekend ahead. Keep an eye on my socials for that fun little announcement. And remember, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. And as always, stay wicked and wonderful. Good night, guys.